hello everyone welcome to my channel it's Kachis Kuto here in today's video I'll be teaching you how I achieve this gorgeous outfit please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to my channel without further ado let's get into the video for an off shoulder blouse I'm going to be deducting four inches depending on how low you want it to be but for mine I'm using four inches from my shoulder to my under bust is 11 inches I'm going to mark 11 from my shoulder to my armhole I have 8 inches then we have my under bust and my armhole now I'm going to be placing my shoulder measurement which is 7 plus 1 inch so in allowance I have 8 inches now I'm going to be connecting the points From this point, I'm going to be taking one inches above for my curve. I'm going to join it. So directly under that, I'm going to be taking my bust measurement, which is 38 divided by 4 plus 2. I have 11.5. On my under bust point, I'm going to be placing my under bust, which is 32 divided by 4 plus 2. I have 10 inches. And for my stomach, I have 30 divided by 4 plus 2, which is 9.5 inches. Now I'm going to be joining the points. Now we cut. For my princess that I'm going to be folding my fabrics 4 inches inwards. I'm going to make sure I have 4 inches on the top and the bottom. Now from the point where I marked my under bust, I'm going to take 3.5 inches, 3.5 inches downwards. Now to the top, I'm going to take 3 inches. 3 inches, now we join the point. Join it with a straight line downwards, then with a curved line upwards. Okay, so from the under bust point, I'm going to take 0 0.5 inches inwards just to get an extra curve and mark it down to the point where it meets the other line. And then we cut straight. Okay, for the peplum, I'm going to be using my stomach measurement, which is 9.5, divide by 4. I have 2.5 plus half an inch, so in allowance. So, I'm going to mark 3 at the edge of the fabric. Mark 3. I'm very sorry you can't see that, but I'm very sure in the second one you should be able to see that. So from the point where I marked my tree, I'm going to mark 9 inches. That is the length of my peplum, 9 inches. I'm going to mark it round. I'm going to be taking my tape from that point to the peplum length, which is 9 inches. I mark 9 inches round. So we join the marked points 
and then we're going to cut so we're just going to do the same onto another fabric while I open this and check if it's 9.5 yes we have 9.5 over there so onto the other fabric fold it into four and you mark your three inches for the same stomach measurement we have three inches then you join it from that three inches we mark our second peplum we're going to be using six inches then two inches for the fold to hem the at the end so I'm just going to do the same thing join the point and cut So for the peplon, I made extra two for both of them because I needed my peplon to be very full. So I, I made extra two. Okay, so this is the top. The princess that I'm opening it. We're going to be sewing through this part you sew so that side then you turn so the other side you're going to open it before you sew this side so you don't make mistake as you can see the peplum is much fuller i joined them already so you are just going to place the first one down, sew it round. And you place the second one down. So for my skirt, my skirt length is 21 plus 1 inch in allowance I have 22 I'm going to be taking 2 inches for zip allowance I'm going to fold it in I'm going to mark my waist measurement plus 2 inch sewing allowance from my waist to the hip I have 10 so I'm just going to mark from the waist to the hip 10 inches downwards so from that point I'm going to mark my hip measurement plus 2 inch sewing allowance okay for the fitness downwards I took It took about 9 inches. You can take maybe 10 or 11 depending on how tight you want the down to be. I took 9 inches plus 2 inch sewing allowance. Now I'm going to be joining the point where I have the sewing allowance. You don't want to join the inner one to avoid error. So I joined the point where I had the sewing allowance. and then we cut so I'm just going to 
take the part where I have my zip allowance and open it open it up I cut through to open it up since you have the zip allowance there so we have to open it For the back of my top, I deducted the 4 inches already, I marked my armhole and my underboss. I used 12 this time around for the back. Then, I measured my shoulder, which is 8. Just the same thing I did for the front. Connecting it, doing your 1 inch above curve. Placing your bust measurement. Plus the 2 inch allowance. Yes, the 2 inch allowance we use for the front and the back is the same thing because we're going to be using 2 inch for the zip. Then 1.5 inches for the front because of the princess that. So now I'm placing the under bust measurement plus 2 inch allowance for your zip. The same thing with the stomach measurement. It's just practically the same thing. You're going to place your point plus your 2 inch allowance. Necessary, very necessary for your zip. So now we're going to connect our points. Connect it so it meets each other. And remember to connect it through your allowance lines, not the main points, your allowance points. And we cut. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and click on the like button.